All right, econnews.com is here with rising heavyweight Lenroy Thomas. You had a big guy in there in front of you tonight. You, you did what you had to do, though. Talk about your performance. Oh, I felt, it felt good. You know, I listened to my trainer. That's box, box. You know what I mean? Try to stop the rope, use my legs, you know, and just run my punches. You know? Yeah, he, I was just talking to your coach. Now, this is a guy who's 355 pounds. What goes through your mind? You're throwing everything with the kitchen sink at this guy, and, and I mean, you did what you had to do fundamentally. You, you you took the fight going away, but does it forget? Does it frustrate you all when you when you when you when you're fighting somebody that big and you, and you just can't get him out of there? Uh, not really. You know, I just realized that I ain't gonna knock him out. So just you know, if I win with my hand raise or I win knock him out, it's a win. It's a double. You know, mm -hmm. so and at least I didn't knock him out, but I showed my skills. Right, and that's right. The most important part. Are you happy with your performance yes, tonight? Yes. Yes. Now, what what is your vision for your career? I just I was also asking the coach the same thing. How busy you want to be? Um, when 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 would you like to step up in competition? I had to talk to my trainer. You know, I prayed about it and leave it in his hand and promote it. And you know, um, he been in the game for over thirty some years, so he know what best and look what he do with Winky and what he do with Lacey. Absolutely. You know, so I don't want to rush it too fast. I don't want to move too slow. I just want to take one step at a time and just like I say, pray about it and let God make the best decision for me. You know? Now, talk about TKO boxing your promoter a little bit. Chet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's not my promoter, he's my friend. Oh, okay. You know what I, mean? I thought you promoted by TKO? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. He, he's a friend. You know, the guy friend and promoter. Right. You know, my, my trainer know him because, you know, we need more promoters like him to take care of the younger fighters that come out. You know, I was just watching, just observing him in, in, in the background. He seems like he's very people oriented, very he is. good, he good is. with people. He is. He's a good guy to get around and get along with. You know, and so, got. You know, like my trainer, a two-time trainer in the world, there's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, you, you know, when you, we hit him, we're going to hit him. They, they gave you the tools to do this, you know? Yes, sir. When do you want to get back in? How how, how busy do you want to be? Well, it's up to my trainer. October the 12th. October the 12th, it is. There it is. In Houston. You know, in Houston. So, I'll go home, take some time off, spend some time with my daughter and my family, and mm -hmm. be back in the gym probably Wednesday, you know? Watch the tape again, see what I could have done better, what I could correct. You know, and then improving it. I look forward to October 12th. Now, the heavyweight is wide open. The Klitschko's are doing their thing. I think there should be a super heavyweight division, honestly. Uh, um, how do you match up with some of the guys? Where, where do you see yourself as, as far as the, the, the top echelon of the heavyweights at this point, the contenders? I'm um, the future heavyweight division. No, I ain't something different about that. They said every division is, is, is dead now. I'm the great survivor. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring it back to the early days. You know, I'm young. I can box. I can move. You know what I'm saying? I have skills. So, you know, just got to prove it to the people. And how do you do that? That's a good, that's a good segue into my next question. Because right now you got Ariola and Eddie Chambers and Kevin Johnson a little bit. These guys are making, but they're getting a lot of play, though. They're getting a lot. How do you, how do you, how do you get into that category where you're getting some, some, uh, some recognition across the country? Let's keep on doing what we're doing. You know, God control our destiny. And like I say, I have a good group of team around me. You know, Dan, Chet. And like I said, when the time comes, it's going to come. You know, when the little guy says, this is my turn, it's my turn, and nothing going to stop it. So I'm just patiently waiting. And when it's my turn to explode, I'm going to explode. You know? Mm -hmm. All right, you have any closing thoughts for your fans out there? Hey, just keep on looking out, man. Thank y'all for the support. That's what's up. Appreciate you, man. Thank you.